Here are 11 ways to ruin your friendships in Minecraft. While Minecraft usually is meant to be played with friends, we all know that sometimes a line can be crossed. And what becomes a game of friendship easily becomes a game of war. So if you're looking for a way to get back at your friends, here are the best ways to take them down. Number one, carpets can add nice details to your house. But what most people don't know is that the blocks underneath them can still cause effects. So if you place some magma blocks underneath, you can easily cause some damage to your friends without burning down their house, making this a nice and easy little prank to get them a little annoyed. Number two, cobwebs can be very annoying, especially when you're stuck in them. It can be very hard to get out, especially with the right tools. So here's a nice and easy prank to do on your friends. Quickly just fill up their entire house, hitting every nook and cranny so that once they're in, it'll take them forever to clean up. And if they do get stuck, they'll definitely be annoyed because they'll have no way of getting out. And hey, at least we're not destroying their house yet. Number three. So your friend, they're being a little too cocky with their building seals. So here's a way to even it out. What you want to do is find some prime property outside of their house and just build yourself a nice little dirt house. The best part is they can't even do anything because then it's griefing. And we sure do hate griefers. Now remember guys, make sure you build it so that it's easily visible from their windows, causing not just an eyesore for them, but for anyone else who comes to visit their base. Now if this doesn't get their blood boiling, I truly don't know what will. I mean, we do, but we'll get there soon. Number four, some people truly hate it when they find blocks on their paths. So here's an infinite cobblestone generator that will always place just one block on their path that is made sure to drive them crazy. It's pretty simple to build too. No matter what they do, they'll keep breaking the block and after a couple of seconds maximum, that block will reappear and they'll have no idea who placed it. It's pretty simple guys, all you guys have to do is just make sure to build 12 blocks down and have a piston and a redstone clock. That's all you really need for this. This is very simple to build and will definitely cause them some pain and confusion. Number 5 Minecraft has gone through a lot of effort to make sure we can hear some great sounds. So why don't we deliver that to our friends by using two observers and some note blocks to blow our friends eardrums. You can even swap out the note blocks for some trap doors in case they have their music set all the way low. This way, you'll make sure to annoy them until they finally find it and break it. Be careful though, this might result in your friend never playing Minecraft again with any headphones. Number 6 Now, sometimes you have those friends that just leave their loot lying around. And it's up to you being the good friend that you are to teach them a little lesson. So take their valuables and hold them for some safekeeping. And as a reward for you helping your friend, make sure you use some for yourself. Remember guys, you're only just helping your friend. No way back. Now guys, we're moving on to the stuff that will definitely ruin some friendships and cause some wars on the server. So be warned. Number seven, the easiest way to ruin someone's house without getting any blame on yourself is to put down a lightning rod near their wooden house. Now when a thunderstorm hits, there's a chance that right before the thunderstorm clears, it'll start a fire, which will burn down their entire house and leave you as only a witness and not a culprit to the crime, with only you knowing the reason for its burning down. Just make sure to remove that lightning rod after. Number eight, if you want to start a war, kill their pets. This will definitely cause one of the biggest rivalries to form. If you don't want the blame, hop onto the server while no one's on and kill them. When they log back on, they'll see that their pet is missing and fight anyone that they see. This will definitely ruin the server, so be careful. Number nine. So we all know that you can use TNT to destroy someone's house, but this can easily put you into the blame. Well, here's an easier fix. Simply lure a creeper in and with a name tag, name it something nice. So that when your friend walks in, they'll get a nice surprise and think that it was all their fault. They can't blame you because you don't have any of the loot. 
It's all on them. It's a great way to gaslight and make them believe it was all their fault. Number 10. This is by far the most craziest one. We all know the simple way of simply just blowing up someone's house with some TNT. Now while this can be destructive, it, it's really short lived. You know, your friends know it's you and that's that. Now I'm going to show you guys a better way. Build a wither. Using a wither, not only is their house in danger, everyone else's house is also in danger. Especially if it's by their spawn, they might just die and lose their spawn too. Which is a win-win. This will definitely leave the server in ruins and you without any friends. Make sure this is what you want to do. Because if you guys have no server, your friends definitely will not want to play with you after this. But this does not even compare to the last one. Number 11. The greatest way to ruin friendships and to start some wars is to leave some floating trees. Especially in front of someone's house, they will hate you for this. This doesn't just cause an eyesore. It truly, truly makes me question who you are as a person. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that subscribe button, please. I'm trying to get to 200 subs, maybe even more. Thank you guys. Again, this has been your boy GP. Take care. Be safe. Peace.